Welcome to ESD School, brought to you by Attract. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single episode. Enjoy the video. The training exercise for uh, training yourself for incision. If you are uh, not again uh, an ESD uh, uh, frequent uh, performer, a good exercise could be to, to do small incision uh, around the lesion for closure because it's a lot of small incision. So, for example, I share this kind of small incision to my trainees. Um, even if the ESD is in the right colon, they cannot uh, use, they can at least do this small incision all around the lesion uh, because it's a good training to reach the submucosal space to see that they could reach the blue layer like this and this kind of incision will uh, allow them at the end to close the defect with uh, some clip like for example here you catch one hole go to the opposite side and it avoid the clip slipping when um, uh, you try to close a wand in order to reduce the bleeding risk, for example, for patients with high risk of bleeding. Second uh, kind of exercise uh, is uh, the hybrid uh, technique, for example, for lesions that are in between 15 and 20 millimeters. You want to be R0 because, uh, for example, in this case, it's a non-granular LST, which was relatively small. You can try to do your incision with the tip of the snare. Uh, and it's a good way to, to train in, in, uh, in incision, not in ESD, because you will not uh, do your, your dissection after doing this circumferential incision, but at least with the tip of the snare, uh, you can uh, train yourself doing uh, the incision. You should inject a lot before, open uh, the tip of the snare, but very slowly, two or three millimeters, and then you can uh, slide like you do with a knife, uh, but it can be a good exercise to, to practice incision even when you have not uh, a lot of ESD cases, just uh, training yourself on the EMR, which are um, somewhere in between a, a, an unblock sure resection and a need for a, a piecemeal. Uh, hybrid could be effective for the lesion in between 20 and 30 millimeters. Like this. Last exercise, which is a, a good way also, is the entrance uh, during POEM procedure. It's not a, a very long and difficult incision, but it's a good way to find the layer, do your small hole, re-inject to be sure you are in the submucosa and you pass through uh, the muscularis mucosa and then you will move straight it's a good uh, exercise to do incision straight and to slide at the surface and just after you have to do your trimming in the two edges uh, of your poem like this in order to enlarge the space and be able to enter into your tunnel uh, very uh, easily i like to face the muscle in this case use water and enter into uh, the pocket of your tunnel by doing this kind of incision and then you are tunneling for your poem. But once again, it's an incision which is not so risky because quite easy. And um, it, is, it is a good way uh, for trainees to, to have an experience of sliding uh, with uh, the knife at the good depth. Finally, some examples of uh, incision. Uh, here, um, it is the uh, left side incision of a squamous cell carcinoma. Uh, usually, the gravity is helping when the patient is in supine position. And um, I like this exercise for trainees because on this way, um, the sliding is... Uh, very good usually because uh, you have at you are at the lower part of the patient if it's in supine at six o'clock position 
and you can really uh, try to slide as much as possible with the ceramic at the surface and the tip of the electrode at the good depth. So we are passing on the, on the dots because uh, the margins uh, um, taken was a little large. So we decided to pass uh, very close to the dots and not take uh, even more margin and to join the uh, distal incision uh, thanks to, to this. But once again, good exercise, not so difficult, not really dangerous um, to have a straight sliding incision. Next case here, uh, an alverge incision, which is not the, the, the easiest one because you have a lot of bleeding and you can, you have to follow the, the shape of the anal uh, verge, which is really round and C-shaped like the esophagus. So it's a good exercise because you have to turn your scope uh, uh, every time and try to, to fix the, the position of your knife um, directing to the center of the lesion. So here it was not so, not so easy, but by turning, we try to, to open the space and to do a kind of, of tunnel. Uh, always the smile shape, always, always the smile shape. It's a really a good exercise. Um, and uh, if you remember only one thing of this, uh, trying to do this smile shape and opening it by your trimming will help you to go under the lesion. And it's a very good exercise uh, to um, uh, train yourself on animal models, for example, uh, uh, cow colon or pig stomach or whatever. Uh, you just do a smile. I enter into the submucosa. I stop. I do a smile. I enter into the submucosa. I go back. I do a new smile because with this, the repetition will help you to to have a kind of automatic movement that helps um, to um, in the practice to do something effective, but also uh, that makes you less tired because some parts are automatic and you are not uh, stressed for everything. So finally, it's a long episode, but incision is really important, I think. Uh, incision should be and should stay submucosal during the wool uh, incision. It should be as deep as possible in order to enlarge the space to access the submucosa without being dangerous. The best way for me is to do a small dot first because you enter the good layer, you control that you are in the good layer and after you move from this point, always at the same day. The technical tricks are Sliding is very important, round shape are very important, and try to always orientate your knife to the center of the lesion. Um, the aim is to cut and to begin dissection at the same time. Training for incision should be a repetition of incision and not always training yourself in wool uh, complete procedure, because by, by doing repetition of incision like a smile, go under, incision like a smile, your, your brain will be uh, better at the end by automizing a lot of things. And uh, once again, I think we should train in small exercises and not always in a wool procedure. Thank you very much. I hope it was not too long. Uh, we will probably split the two episodes as you see, because um, it's a little too much, but at least for people who are doing ESD, I hope uh, these tricks will help you. And uh, see you soon in, in the next episode, like for example, trimming, which I promise will be uh, uh, less uh, long uh, with a small duration because it's very important, but can be uh, probably discussed in less time than incision. Thank you very much and good holidays for those who, who go in summer holidays. Best. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your colleagues. Until next time, this is ESD School by Attract.